Why must I be this lonely? Hey there everybody, it's Valentine's Day again. If you're taken, Valentine's Day is a wonderful day to celebrate love. If you're me, it's a day for your friends to laugh at you because of your horrible romantic track record. I've lost girls to tomatoes, Germany, and in general me just being an idiot. And you would think after all of that the pieces would start to click, but honestly that hasn't happened yet. But there are some fairly basic lessons in this aspect that I've learned from these experiences, and I now have a basic list of advice that I would like to share with you so you don't make these same mistakes. The first thing I've learned in regards to this is to never buy those heart-shaped boxes of candy ever because all they lead to is disappointment. One time I bought a box of those to give to a girl I liked on Valentine's Day, but I'm about as good at confrontation and general bravery as I am useful in a survival situation. So when Valentine's Day came around and I was too scared to give it to her, I just didn't give them to her and forgot about it. Anyway, in March I discovered them in my bag still unopened and was like, Man, why do I still have these? So I put them on a shelf in my room. Many months passed and then summer came around and I was just sitting in my room really hungry when I saw the chocolates and I was like, Man, I'll probably never give these to her, I should just eat them. And so I ate them. Anyway, bad news for me, they were milk chocolate and at this point expired and I didn't realize this until I had already eaten the whole box and had a really bad tummy ache. A bad tummy ache is already bad enough. You know how sad it is to know that you got the bad tummy ache because you're lonely and also not too smart? Now is this primarily my fault? Yes. But am I still mad at the Myers worker who sold me this with the knowledge that it would expire after 6 months? A little bit. Another thing I have learned is to be careful about who you tell about your romantic endeavors. Now surprisingly, I have friends, and I would say that they are definitely in the group of people that I can trust with pretty much anything. <laughs> but as my best buddies, one thing I can't trust them to do is not put me in the worst situations possible because it's funny. Are you sure this is safe? Yes. We should probably call an ambulance. And honestly, I can't really blame them, because I've put them in just as many bad situations and everything is still all okay. But when you add in giving them information and details about your very sad love life, not good things for you are gonna happen. Including, but not limited to, making you look like a fool in front of the girl you like, causing as many awkward situations as possible, and making you laugh when a girl is talking to you and also you have a full mouth of iced tea. This lesson has been drilled into my head and honestly has stopped me from drinking iced tea around my friends and I recommend you do the same. The last thing I've learned is to try your hardest to learn how to prevent the girl you like from moving. I know this because the only two girls who have possibly ever liked me back have both ended up moving. One girl to Germany and I don't know where the other one went. And honestly, I don't really want this to become a pattern. Another alternative to preventing the move is to just move to the other town too, which is something I wish I would have figured out when I still had the chance. Actually, it's probably not too late to move to Germany. Hello, I'm looking to move here? You want to move to Wiener, Germany? Anyway, that's all the romantic advice I have. Thanks for watching.